Hi, everybody. My name is Jacob Adams. I am here with Armando. Ramirez. Armando Ramirez. Yeah. Hello, Hello everyone. Armando uh, joined the Gold's Gym 12-week competition back in January, right, Armando? Yes, sir. And he is the winner for the male division. And I think it was a real close call, Armando, but uh, you won. And I remember seeing you. I remember seeing you at the Conor McGregor fight there at Walk-Ons. And I said, hey, man, I got you in the top four, right? And I had yes, already sir. known you on. And then you, you what would you tell me, bro? What would you tell me? And I no. said, hey, I got I you in the top four. I said, I, I joined things to win, not to lose. Come on now. Nah, nah, nah. You, what you said was, you went like this. You went like this. I'm either first or second. That's what you told me. If first or second. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. Do. I know, I know. I All tried right. my ass off. So tell yeah, us about yeah. that. Tell us about what you did to win. In other words, how many times a week were you training? Tell us about your train, the actual training, and then we'll get into your diet. Okay. So tell us about what you did to win. Let's start with training. What did you, how, what was your training methodology? Most of all, I was mostly getting rest. That's the most important thing overall when you're working out, no matter how, how good you eat, how badass your workout is, you have to get rest. Um, at least eight hours, six, seven hours of rest at least. And especially me, I was uh, in Houston on Corpus working and uh, I was going in at seven uh -huh. in the morning. And I was going to the gym in the morning, like around four or five. Oh, so you, why, why did you want to win so bad? I mean, that sounds uh, like somebody I, that really wants to win. Am I right? Yes, sir. Why did you want to win, bro? What did you, why? It wasn't only just about winning, but it was a competition that I joined so I can get myself in shape. And I ended up doing it. I was actually starting off running two miles a day, every day, and then eating little by little. In the morning, I would I would I'd stop eating bread, drinking like soda, Gatorade, it was a bunch of water, unsweet uh, tea and stuff like that. But mostly I was uh my workouts were mostly um like repetitive, like fast, intense. It was mostly that that I think that pushed me more and more. You were going for high intensity training, you think? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Would you give I me was. would you give me an example? Well, how many days were you actually training? How many days out of seven days? How many days a week were you actually training? I was going, I was doing two a days and I would only rest one day. Sometimes I wouldn't even rest. Okay. So let me get this straight. In seven days, you said that you might just rest one day. Is that correct? Yeah. And you were doing two a day? Yeah, I was. For sure, sin falta. In other words, you're telling me that yeah. you were getting two every day. Yeah, I was going to the gym twice for, a day. Once for a all night. those 12 weeks? Yep. Sometimes I would eat bad and sometimes I would eat good. But then, you know, I said, you know what? I have to go to the gym. So it's fair to say that you pretty much did want to win. I, I did. Super. Okay. So that, so it wasn't an accident. Sometimes people think winning is an accident. It's not. And people could see you and you just walk in, you know, you know you're just smiling. You do your little, like, you just come in fast to the gym, all hyped up. And they might be like, oh, man, that guy. But it turns out, that's why this, this interview is good. Because it helps people see, nah, this guy really probably... Well, oh shit, he woke up at four in the morning. He was doing two a day, skipping only one day. So you were really focused here. Oh yeah. Mostly when I used to, when I go to the gym, I don't focus on anything else but on myself and my workout. I'm just going and come out. That's what I'm there for, you know. And what about like let's say a girlfriend? Did a girlfriend try to get you off track? Would his girlfriend say, Hey, you have some pizza? Anything like that? Like uh oh, family support, oh. anything like that. Yeah, there's times I would eat and stuff like that. I mean, it wouldn't hurt me. I just wouldn't overeat it, overdo it, you know. I'll eat sometimes we'll go eat pizza, I'll like one slice, two slices, and that'll be it. But every meal I had was with water. Do you I, I didn't I didn't drink soda, no orange juice, nothing like that. Do you think that um you're leaner or did you think you stayed the same as your results right now? Or I, or do you think you're you got a little fatter? Actually, honestly, I think I lost body fat. I okay, so it. we're gonna test you again. You'll get one free scan. Uh, well, cause I just want to make sure that you, you're a pretty confident guy, and you yeah. say, "Hey, you got leaner. You look, you look, you might have gotten a little leaner." When when I when there was this, I remember you texting like some guy named Armando's texting you. He's in Houston. He said he's gonna 
come down for the measurements of the competition. And I'm like, I remember thinking to myself, I don't know if this guy's going to finish. You know, I remember, I remember thinking that I was like, I don't know if he'll finish, but okay. Remember? And you were like, I'm going to come down. And yeah, it turns I, out, I, it turns I, out I, you, 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 I think it's like this, I think you may have even turning your stuff like a few days early. Right. Yeah, I did a week, a week before the, a week before. So I was like, then. and I was like, well, of course he did it. And when I did all the numbers, I measured hip to waist ratio. I measured inches lost. I measured uh, muscle gain, fat lost. And now uh, when it came down to it, fair, fair is fair, bro. You won fair and square. And yeah. so you I, know, I know I did it. You see how he is. This is guy. I know uh, I did. Yeah, I know I did. Okay. So thanks for answering those questions. What about diet? Uh, do you want to tell them a little bit about besides cutting out the sodas? Oh, is yeah. there anything, any other strategy? Because you're a young guy. You're like 19 or 20, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm 20. Okay, I'm 21 so, August, August. So you're a young guy. You're 21 approximately. Okay, yeah. Okay. Basically. So you have that in your advantage. You know, people might might say, people might say, hey, this is a young guy. That's why you could do it. And it's true. That when you're younger, your metabolism is faster. It is true. But, yeah. but that said... Did you, tell me a little bit about your diet. What was, let's say, a, let's say a typical, or you would say, this is what a typical day looked for me. You woke up and what's the first thing you ate? The first thing I did was uh, like the first thing I ate. Sometimes when I would be at work, I wouldn't eat. I would go to the gym, get out of the gym and eat like a banana and some two boiled eggs. And that's it. For, so two, for boiled, two boiled eggs and a banana and after a the banana. gym? After the gym. So you would go fasted? Yes. And then so, before, and then after for lunch, I wouldn't eat rice. I started eating rice like towards after like six weeks, seven weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke up, and um, well, for those six weeks, I was just eating chicken and beans, sometimes green beans, green peas, and that'd be it. And for dinner, it'll sometimes be a little shake. I had a, I still have a blender. I would pour uh, almond milk and blueberries, and then uh, ice, uh, isolate whey protein, and that would be my dinner. And then same thing tomorrow. Okay, just to recap. Okay, you would. I, I just want to slow it down for the listener because it's going. You're going fast. Uh-huh. Banana and two boiled eggs after the boiled gym, eggs. and then the after. dinner was isolate protein, blueberries, and some almond milk. That's so. What do you what you say in between? I don't know what you said in between. What you say in between? Oh, oh, for lunch I would have a chicken breast. Uh huh. At least at least uh those uh just like any kind of chicken breast, and um no no seasoning no. Oh, he no, didn't even do that. seasoning. No, just just chicken so, breast. So you wanted to win. That that's <laughs> either you wanted to win, bro. To to be <laughs> eating like you're like not because seasoning you could have seasoning. That's the thing. Yeah. But you were like not even gonna chance the seasoning. Yeah, I wouldn't. No, no, no. All right. I all right. I, yeah, that I would have chicken breast with a uh, rice, and for some reason I I said I'm gonna put half a cream cheese. And I would put cream cheese and uh, always cream. eat every, all, all my lunch meals with avocado. Always. And I still do now. For some cream, cheese in the, cream cheese in the lunch and with the chicken breast? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's the fat. It, it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's the fat. The body understands that it's fat. And it's once when, when you start dieting real hard, the body starts craving things like that because it it's fat and the body recognizes it. So that's, that's, that makes sense to me. I'm, I completely get it. Completely get it. So what about what else? I would have a, that and avocado every day. And okay. Like, All right. Avocado. Oh, what about, oh, oh. so that's three meals. You only have three meals? Yeah. All right. So that's it. Well, that's a little bit of that. So because you competed, you won a one-year membership to Gold's Gym, which is approximately, let me see what the value of that is. It's approximately $525. Okay. Plus one hundred dollar gift card for six twenty five, and a professional photo shoot valued at about two to three hundred dollars. So you made about a thousand dollar win here. Oh shit! So that's why I wanted to interview you. I know that you were like in a hurry to cash in your prizes. We were trying to keep it under wraps. Yeah. You called in the other day. You're like, "Hey, where's my prizes?" And I'm like, "Dude, chill, bro, chill." Like, I got you. I got you. Yeah, man. Sorry. yeah, you're good. You're good. I was like, I got you, bro. Chill. Man, uh, I really didn't really think about it like that. That I that it's a kind of a secret kind of thing. No, that like it was that much money in the competition to win at least like the beside like the photo shoot, the membership and the, and the hundred dollar gift card. I, when I joined that competition, I just said, hey, man, 
it's a new year, you know, a new start. A lot of people say it every year, like, yeah. hey, it's a new beginning, new start. And for some reason, my mentality has changed when I joined the membership. You know, I said, you know, I'm just not going to waste $100 to lose, you know. It, 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 it hit me really bad, like, hey, you're in a competition and you can't cheat. You got to change your mentality, your diet, That's... the way you're doing things and stuff like that. I love and it, I'm, man. Now that I re- you said that, like, holy, holy crap, now, like, oh, I'm yeah. surprised now. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 exactly, exactly. So I had to make sure to work out all the details. Like, yes, everything was discussed before we announced the prizes. There was just some things we needed to work out. Just, hey, okay, let's make sure everything's in line. So there was, that was it. That was why there was a week or two delay. And I know there was a delay, delay to get you on the same schedule with me and that. And I wanted to interview the, the female winner. She's been out of town. So everybody was just, that's all it was. So yeah. um, oh, that's fine. Going to ask you some questions. Hope you enjoy the prizes. We really wanted to make them special uh, for the first one. I think with those photos, that's why you better stay in shape or you have a little time to schedule it, but you're going to want to get in no. shape. So that way you maybe take someone out your shirt, you know, put it on the gram, say, you know, put this interview on your gram and be like, you know, hey, look at me and, and look at me talking to Jacob here where you are had an interview. Here's my photo and flex and flex, man. You got to flex. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I really appreciate what you shared. One of the greatest things I think I want to I want to tell you is I really like what you told the audience here, the viewer that, hey, it's a new year. And a lot of people say, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And then they don't do it. Right. And, and you said something. I got to change my mentality. This is a competition. I'm going to take it serious. And that is right away. I'm going to tell you right now that already puts you in the top 20 percent of anything. It's because it's all up here. Like it's, yeah. you, can't, you can't do shit without this. You can't until that's dialed in and focused until that's here. You ain't going to do shit. So, you know, you handled it right. And it paid off. Let's get us some fun questions. Uh, this giant chat, then we'll finish up and we'll, we'll let you go. All right. This is just sort of like interview, like, uh, so inspired by Tim Ferriss. Here we go. Armando, tell us about yeah. a book that you, a, a book that you've read that influenced your life it could be the bible it could be anything any book <laughs> if you say i don't yeah, read that's fine uh, read. I'm a, uh, you know is Last there a book I, I huh? about years ago any book man any yeah. book that you that you've enjoyed that you think hey man that book is is pretty good and i really loved it i remember that it taught me this Dang, um i don't really know there's not a book i can think of right now okay cool maybe the bible or nothing nothing like strikes you like oh that, that, that. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'll send. Uh, I recommend no, the book. I'm gonna, rec- I'm gonna recommend the book, the book "Winning" by Tim Grover because you are a winner. Recommend that book. I, it's, it was written by Michael Jordan's coach. I think you really like that. Okay, so recommendation there. Okay, what's one thing that you've purchased for one hundred dollars or less? It can be twenty dollars. Um, that has positively impacted your life in the last six months or even you know whenever. Honestly. I have a, the competition, man, really changed my life, I think. Wow, man, that's such a... Like my mentality and everything, waking up, doing things, you know, like, like, it was just a routine after that, like, I had a routine, like, when waking up, like, having rest, going to sleep and stuff like that. What do you think was going to take you off your game? Like, what do you think will make you unfocused, go back to the always, go back to the old Mondo, a little bit more body fat, a little less confident. What? I mean, maybe a girl comes into the picture and she says, Mondo, stay in with me. Don't go to the gym. Oh, you know, you're always working out so much. <laughs> what, what would you do? What would you do? I don't know. I, I just think they'd have to understand. I don't know. All right, man. Like, that's me. And um, that's things I want to do. I mean, just a couple of, hours or minutes at the gym doesn't cost anything like, you know? <laughs> look man. just for my own health and my own good look just man I, I, I think i want you to, you're gonna have a, a copy of this interview it'll be on online and stuff i want you to always remember where you're at mentally because i've trained a long time for i've trained myself for a long time i've trained many clients you're in a very good state of mind right now i'm telling you right now i've trained a lot of clients i've trained for many years I'm letting you know right now at this stage in your life, you have a very good mindset. What's going to stop you is letting people fuck with your head and get you off your game. Oh, fuck I'm yeah. telling you real talk right now. Okay. Next question. How has failure or apparent failure 
set you up for later success? In other words, do you have a favorite failure of yours? Uh, nah, man, I really don't think of failure. Like, Maybe a, a, a grade you got in school and it pissed you off and you got better or, you know, you didn't get a job. So you made you get another job I, and you like that one more, something like that. I, I, I think like talking about the competition again. Yeah, man. Uh, I would sometimes eat bad because I, I, I felt like, oh, shit, look at you. You're looking good, you know, mm-hmm. and sometimes I'll go out for like burgers and stuff. And I stopped. Mm-hmm. I, I try to stop eating that. I wouldn't really drink Coke. I never was a big fan of soda or anything like that. But mostly chips, man. Like yeah. chips, that was my biggest craving. And the I still thoughts. eat for a yeah. while. I just don't eat too much. I don't overdo things anymore. Like at least in fast food and junk food like that. But that's so, one of the things so, that like. So you would cheat a little bit. And then how well, How would that help you later? In other words, did you did it help you say, nah, you know, I'm better than this? Or what, what you know, you brought it up as a failure. So you would cheat a little how would it help you how would it help you maybe recalibrate or what 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 was that process like like he that's tough it was it was really hard and like sometimes I would walk into the store just to pump some gas Mm -hmm. and I would both turn right look left and you'll see oh so many things and they see it be like you know what I don't need this I'll grab something else and like I started chewing gum and stuff like that. And I said, you know what? I started f- falling in love with gum and I just stick with that thinking it was chips. And it just, I think I came a little bit successful with that. It's like cutting it off, you know, little by little. Yeah. Not yeah, yeah. More. I think yeah. over things like that is gets, in, gets you fucked up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, excellent. They have a great, great answer. If you could have a big billboard, you know, on the street, you're driving, you see a billboard, advertisements, where with anything on it, metaphorically speaking, you would get a message to everybody out there. What would that billboard say in a few words or a paragraph? In other words, I'm going to say that again. Let's just say there's a big billboard and it's your billboard. In a few words or a paragraph, what would you put on that billboard so that everybody could see it from Mondo? Attitude and effort. That's it. I, I, attitude and effort. That's it. Just those two things, meaning so, attitude and effort. And just attitude, period, or attitude and atti- effort, period. At, yeah. And then Mondo Ramirez, or Mondo Ramirez. Yep. All right, man. I think that that's going to be what I'm going. I'm going to go ahead and name this video Attitude and Effort. Attitude and Effort. Thank you. You know what I mean? That's going to uh, yeah. right? Attitude, attitude has a long way with everything, man. I think so. Whether you're having a bad day, you can go fuck up your life or anything, man. Anything can happen in the long run. And then, you know, effort too. You, you have to put effort into things that you want. You just can't say something and not go for it, you know? Got it. I think it's a great answer, man. Number, here's another question. What is the, what is one of the best or most worthwhile investments you've ever made? You already said the contest, but that's for a hundred dollars. Ignalice could be a truck. It could be schooling. It could be, you know, anything. It could be your wardrobe. It could be any any investment. It could be just investment of time. It could be, you know, anything. What is one of the biggest investments you've ever made? The best. One is the best investment. It could be cryptocurrency. I don't care what it yeah. is. Uh, get in a house. Okay, you already got a house. Yeah. Okay, man. Well, shit. That's shit. you're 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 looking you're looking I, strong. Yeah. Strong and healthy, man. Strong and healthy. Okay. What is an unusual habit or an, or, or an absurd thing that you love? What is an unusual habit or absurd thing that you love? Like uh, something funny, quirky, odd. Like I like to collect beer cans or some shit. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um... Probably, I guess, I think pre-workout, man. <laughs> you you think that it's odd to what about pre-workout? In other words, something odd. Like something, odd, odd? Something unusual, something that nobody would guess about you. Oh, shit. Um, 
Okay, like I, I like to watch music videos on the weekend. That's one of my things. I like to watch music videos on the weekend. It's not that it's so weird, but maybe you wouldn't know that. You know, that's just something that I had to tell you. You didn't know that, right? So now you know. Oh, I, I guess playing games. I don't think no one knows I play games. Okay. Video. What's one of your favorite games on? Uh, Call of Duty. Very nice. Very nice. We're almost done here. We got about four more questions. In the last five years, what new belief, behavior, or habit has improved your life in the last five years. So you were around 16, 15. What, uh -huh. what new belief behavior or habit has improved your life? I think behavior. It could be working out. It could be yeah, not uh, being negative. It could be, you know, anything. I think having a good mindset and um, working out. Yeah. Took me, got, got me into got me away from trouble and stuff like that before working out were you a little bit into trouble like oh into, yes like what like you weren't you don't seem like a gangster what do you what kind of trouble oh no just hang around with the bad crowd that was it like party party stuff oh yeah definitely would do you know how to party or do you not know how to party no i don't know how to party <laughs> <laughs> Woo. all right all right all right all right um what advice would you give to a smart, driven college student about to enter the real world? Because you work, right? You're in the real world. You got a house. You're an adult now, right? You've got a house. You're an adult. Okay. So you pay for that house on your own. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay. So you're in the real world at 21. Okay. So what would you give to somebody that's going to exit college and enter the real world? Like they're just, hey, they want to be like you. They want to be in, you know, get out there and start making a life of their own, what would you tell that person? Well, mainly with like money. Like it, 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 if you want to tell them about money, tell them about money. I think main thing with like, after getting a job, you start getting a check, you become an adult and you have responsibilities to take care of. You're not a kid anymore. So once you get your money and I know there's going to be points where you want something and stuff like that. But the most important thing is you need to buy things you need, not you want. So, like, let's say you go to the store, right? You have to put gas, right? And let's say you have, like, 500 bucks. The rent is due next, or the light or whatever is due next week. And you only have those 500 bucks. And, you know, the, the light's going to be, like, 200, 300. You have a car. You have to think about your car and gas and stuff like that, you know? Yeah. How many miles you're going to keep used? How many, gas, how much, how many times you're going to pump gas? And you walk into the store and you just buy, like, random random shit right like bunch of munchies and shit like that for like maybe you waste 15 bucks with those 15 bucks you could have gone to a walmart h-e-b and bought food you know very and cool if, if, if that's that's something that's something i think about a lot yeah about, that's, thought about that. that's solid that's solid that's, that's that's introspective and very good advice what should some what should they ignore let's say somebody tells them do this that you what is something some people should ignore uh bad influence if you don't want to do something don't do it if they try to peer pressure you don't do it okay you're staying your lane don't go left or right stay in your lane very good man what are some recommend what are some bad recommendations you hear what do you do for a living by the way uh, i work in the refiners okay what are, what is some bad recommendations you hear in your profession or area of expertise. In other words, they're at the refineries. What are some bad recommendations you hear in your profession? Bad, I don't. Like stuff that you hear people say like, hey, like you should drink beer cause it's manly. I don't know, shit, I don't know what the fuck, I'm just trying to. Honestly, there's, since I'm like the youngest, not a lot of people gave me bad recommendations. They're, they gave me actually good recommendations, like to do things right, they don't want me to go go through the way they did you know struggling like not getting the house and stuff like that so i don't i don't think i've crossed that point yet or no no problem bro no problem now last question here we go last question and here and we'll let you go here in the last five years what have you become better at saying no to for example video games distractions invitations um what okay so <clears throat> like okay and what okay so, what have you become better at saying no to? Um, go partying. Go partying. 
that you would yeah. get invited a lot to party? Yeah. Okay. And so what, what new realizations or approaches helped to say no to party? What helped you say no? Uh, I think, um, I don't know, like my friends getting into bad situations before, even like, myself. Like, like kind of legal stuff or just like drama? No, yeah, probably legal stuff and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay, very cool. Any last words of advice to the listeners? Like, hey, try the next contest. Because we're gonna be, I told you we're going to be having a next contest, but this is for people like yourself the elite of the elite people that don't make excuses it's going to be hard more hardcore more uh-huh. advanced that's the next that our <laughs> we're name or the name of this next contest we're thinking about is 12 weeks to rock hard right or the uh-huh. rate the race t11.9 we don't know what to call it yet but it's going to be something like that the, how, what, which, which, name these, which name sounds better the race t11.9 or 12 weeks to rock hard i have no idea <laughs> i don't know and it's going to be the same competition, like same thing. No, it, lot- it, it'll just be based on body fat. This one's just body fat. Okay. So it's being ripped. It's all about being ripped on this one. That's, that's my, that's my goal these next six months, actually. Well, that's, that's the, that's, <laughs> what, that's it, but that's for the beast, but these are only <laughs> for the beast. This is for the beast of the beast of the beast. Like there's, it's just, there's like, so there's, the, there's the beast. Okay. They could join the contest here, but then this is for the elite. Uh, yeah <laughs> so any last advice for the people watching and we'll yeah, close off with that if uh you think you you think you tried hard enough why not try this next competition and try a little harder because i'm gonna join i'm end up joining and i'm gonna win that shit again <laughs> <laughs> those are the best last words man yeah. that's it don't talk anymore that was a perfect way to end it all right y'all this is jacob adams i'm Ramirez. we'll see you next time See you at the gym. Peace.